are you guys? Welcome to the Sluice Review for these three bad motherfuckers right here. I got these Marvel Legends figures in a trade with my new buddy Cat. Thanks again, Cat, for that. We have the Apocalypse Build a Figure Wave, Tiger Stripe Wolverine, Sasquatch Build a Figure, Deadpool, and we have the Infinite Series Marvel Legends Hobgoblin Build a Figure Wave, Pizza Spidey. I am quite excited about these three. Uh, iconic. The three of them, especially nowadays, now that Deadpool's kind of hit his stride. These figures are incredible. I couldn't be happier about them finally being in my collection and do another loose review. So buckle your seatbelts, and I think we're going to go with Wade Wilson first, Mr. Deadpool. Before we get into opening and reviewing this figure, we have a new sponsor, AddictedCollectibles.com. They have all kinds of stuff up for pre-sale and for sale. Make sure to also check out their Facebook and Instagram accounts. At checkout, make sure you put in your discount code, Amboy Playroom. It's all one word, and you get a nice little discount. Let's again to Addicted Collectibles, and let's get into this review. All right, so let's start with Mr. Wilson here. Not a ton of paint on this guy, but lots of sculpting going on. Lots of loose material on this guy. He's got these anklets. They're loose. He's got bracelets that are loose. Pouches here around his thigh and here around his waist. This pouch array, the Rob Leafield special, connects up to this harness that goes up to a shoulder pad, connects around to two scabbards for his sole accessories which are these two katanas slight paint on the handles that's cool i dig that they're pretty short but they fit his character and they're a little bit thicker so that's cool i haven't really noticed that they've been bent at all yeah he's got some sculpting going around his eyes and then the black paint has been applied and the silver paint for his eyes. I really like that. And then it looks like his body is just molded red plastic. And then he's got some paint that comes up his back and arms and then some, somewhat across his chest and down the sides of his abdomen. Oh, he's also got a choker. That looks like it is also loose. Yeah, that's also a soft piece of plastic up underneath there. Articulation-wise, his head's on a swivel. He looks down pretty good. Looks up, not bad. No tilt at all. He does have butterfly joints, which I absolutely love. That is super cool. Love that. Allows for a pretty good forward. Hands can meet up to hold one weapon. And then a pretty good back. I mean, damn, that is pretty far back. It's pretty remarkable for a six inch figure by Hasbro. Got a swivel right below the shoulder, right above the bicep. Double jointed elbow that allows for just above 90. His bicep gets in the way a little bit. And swivel at the wrist. I believe both wrists, yeah, both wrists have the horizontal hinge that allows for back and forth. And he does also have two trigger fingers. I would love to see the vertical hinges, but what are you gonna do? Swivel at the waist. He's got the ab crunch that allows for him to go that far forward and that far back, very nice. Leg comes out forward that far and goes back just that far 
and then comes out mm, right around 45. Has a swivel at the hip or at the thigh. Double jointed knee comes up that far. He can go back that far at his ankle, that far forward, and he has a pin that allows for ankle rocking. This might be my favorite Legends figure so far. He is appropriately short. He is beautifully painted. The sculpting that's going on here is incredible. And then these claws are amazing. They do move. And Wolverine is the reason that I love comic books. When I was in fifth grade, a friend of mine brought a Wolverine comic to school, and I'd never seen him before. And I immediately fell in love, went out to my local comic book store. I mean, over the course of a few years, I picked up all of the Wolverine comic books that I could until I stopped collecting for a little while. So this figure, it means a lot. I've seen him over the years, many incarnations. The claws, I mean, the claws always bothered me. They always sat in the, in the packaging crooked or bent. They're super huge or too tiny. They never really fit the figure. And now I see this guy and I am glad I waited. Let's talk about his paint and sculpt real quick. Again, the claws are the highlight and that's what brought uh, that's what brought me to the yard as it were. The paint job is great. There's minimal paint, but his sides, the tiger stripes, look so much better than the love triangle Wolverine. I realize that he doesn't come with all the interchangeable parts that that one does but that's comic accurate. That looks so much better than the uh, nebulous blob. That's I love this head. His head wings, I guess, look great. And they're a great size, as are his boot wings. The little bit of paint seems to be the tiger stripes, the gloves, inlets, outlets. I don't know what you want to call those. Shoulder pads, the, the head face that looks great that snarl is just a plus belt is loose it's it's a sculpted piece of plastic that's just loose and slides on there it's nice it gets out of the way when you want to swivel or crunch and then the boots look like they're possibly blue plastic with the black stripe painted articulation this guy, oh, it popped his head off. This guy has an incredible look up. Look at that. That's so great. And then he does bury the chin. He's got a hinge on top of his neck that just allows for incredible up and down. Swivel, his arms. Here's another sculpting aspect. These shoulder pads are attached to his arm. I like the shimmer. There's a slight shimmer to that paint. These are great. They allow for, I mean, you know, if he's up like that, that kind of looks weird, but you know, how often are you gonna pose his arm up? I don't know, maybe you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know what your tastes are. Butterfly joints, which allow for pretty, pretty good crossover in the middle. That's cool, but those biceps kind of get in the way. But that back, that's that's what I'm looking for right there. That's the, he's about to go into berserker mode. Pretty great. So he's got a swivel at the waist, and then he can crunch almost 90 degrees forward. Crunch, or lean back that far. He's got thigh swivel. He's got a boot swivel. He can kick his leg out 
better than 90. Look at that. You can kick it back. Pretty good. Pretty far back. And then he can kick it out to a spread about 45 degrees. It's not bad. And then double jointed knee allows for that far back. And then down at the foot, he can kick his heel forward that far. He can kick his foot back that far. And he does have a rocker for ankle pivot. And then finally, we have one of my two favorite comic book characters of all time. I actually met this boy via Spider-Man and Friends cartoon. I had known that he was a comic book character, but I'd never really dabbled in the comics until Wolverine. Spider-Man for me goes beyond comics. He's one of my favorite fictional characters, Peter Parker. This figure, commonly referred to as Pizza Spidey, is pretty great. So you can see my version has a little bit of a coloring problem. I guess he sat out in the sun or age has gotten to him. He's going to need a paint job at some point. The, all the painting for the grid, the web from the neck all the way down to the feet is pristine. I don't see any mistakes. I don't see any errant lines, even down on his fingers. Those lines look great. They're super sharp. Pizza Spidey does come with a partly unmasked head. He comes with two fisted hands, two splayed hands, two thwippin' hands, and they all look fantastic. Rock on. And last but not least, as per his name, he comes with a piece of pizza. I'm sorry. A slice of pie. I don't know why this was included. I love the irreverence of it. It fits with uh, Mr. Parker. You know, it looks great. The colors, pepperoni, my preferred slice if I were to get one. Back to the sculpt, it's pretty minimal. Um, he's super thin. I do like that. I mean, he could use a little bit more meat. Paint job, like I said, is great. And just the, the thin lean, sinewy, stringy version of Spider-Man. Pretty, pretty fantastically. Articulation too is top notch for the most part. He's got a wonderful up on his head. He also has the ability to bury his chin. He also has that hinge at the top of the neck that allows for just incredible range of motion. There's some slight tiltage, of course, the swivel. He does also have butterfly joints, so that's great. That allows for touch hands. He doesn't really have a weapon holding hand, so he wouldn't really hold one weapon with both hands, but he does also have pretty mean back. That's great. He's got a swivel at the waist, although it does break illusion a little bit, but you know, in the right position, you might not notice it as much. He has ab crunch that goes that far forward and allows for that far back. Swivel at the thigh. He can kick forward better than 90. He can kick back better than 45. And you know where this is going. His out is not even 45 degrees. That is abysmal and now I know what Robo's referring to on the Foosh every time he's like, better than Spider Man. No kind of rotation below the knee. And then foot wise, he can kick forward that much, kick back that far. And he does ha also have a forward facing pin for ankle rocking. So, what can I say about these three fellas? They're all incredible figures. If I were to have to pick one, I like probably Wolverine the most. He's appropriately sized. His claws are top notch. And the paint job, the shoulder pad, swivel, all that stuff is great. Really love Spidey too. I just wish that those 
thighs were a little bit better. The hips, rather. I think he's a little tall, too. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys let me know down in the comments. But the Deadpool figure, I really, really, really love. I've not seen him in stores. Like I said, though, I've not been collecting Marvel Legends for very long, so. I love it, though. I'm gonna use one of Punisher's submachine guns to give him a little bit more robust weaponry. Thanks again to my buddy Cat for hooking it up. I hope you guys are really enjoying these loose reviews. If you're not, let me know down in the comments. I have a bunch of other loose figures from the Black series that I would love to show you, would love to share with you, love to do reviews on. So leave a like if you did like it or not. Make sure to uh, click subscribe if you want to see more when it comes out. Uh, I hope you have a great day. I'm so happy that you stopped by, and I love you like fried chicken.